Hey YouTube, it's Evan Magician 34 and I have a new deck for you called Plants vs. Zombies. And the real reason I call it that is because it just seems like the best name for a deck that has both plants and zombies, and takes advantage of both. So, we start with two Lone Fire Blossoms. The ultimate, uh, I want to bring it back as a zombie because we're using Zombie World plant. Dandelion, hey, another great thing to bring back. Glow Bulb, hey, it even mills, not bad, not bad. Titanium, because she's a great thing to just keep bringing back, and she's good to search out of the deck, too. Plague Spreader Zombie, obviously. Meizuki. We're also running a full three Zombie Masters in this deck, because we've got plenty of things that we want to bring back with him. Uh, he also facil facilitates a lot of Synchros. Um, just an all-around awesome card for this deck, and we do run a pretty uh, hefty monster count just to make sure we can set him off. We're running two copies of Goblin Zombies, also good synchro fodder. But it mainly lets you search out all those ever useful zombies. We're running one copy of Pyramid Turtle. In a lot of ways, this is just so we can bring him out of the grave and use him to ram stuff and get things from our deck. Um, but he's also a good first turn set. To help us in our zombie endeavors, we're running three copies of Lila, Light Sworn Sorceress, just an excellent mill card. And we're going to charge for her, too, of course. We're running two copies of Card Trooper. Good stick, good card to watch get destroyed, draws cards, keeps your zombie master happy, good to retrieve, just so many good things we can say about him in this deck. We're running one copy of Summoner Monk. He can get your zombie masters, he can do all kinds of things. He can also get our four star tuner of choice, which is Flamvel Magician. Um, main reason we're running this guy is uh, because he can't be bottlenosed. We're also running Sangan because he searches so many things in this deck. Uh, a lot, a lot of utility in the deck. You may have noticed we have a lot of one ofs. Um, and we're also running Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind. I almost ran Naturia Rose Whip uh, because I can search it with Lone Fire. But this guy's effect just ends up um, reigning supreme over it. It's just more practical and it's good to bring back and shrink things. And it can allow Zombie Master to kill things basically uh, without having to sync up to do it necessarily. So, anyway. Onto the spells, we're running three copies of Zombie World. This interferes with a lot of other decks. You can replace their field spells. Um, keeps you from getting kaised and stuff like that. It's really good. Um, and, of course, it's going to help us do a lot of tricks with all our zombie-oriented cards. We're also running one copy of Terraforming to make sure we hit it. We're also running three copies of Book of Life. Uh, GD Crows your opponent, basically, and then in addition, it uh, special summons, well, with Zombie World, anything in your grave. It's pretty amazing. We're also running Monster Reborn, because that just gets anything from your grave already. Charge of the Light Brigade. And because we're sending so many things to the grave, and a lot of them, like the Synchros, may want to be recycled, we are running two copies of Pot of Avarice. It's going to be a good way to keep your consistent plays. We're also running one copy of Foolish Burial to make sure the right thing is in the graveyard for you. We also have Dark Hole. This is a great thing to play right before you zombie master. Giant Trunade. Obvious enough. Double MSTs. Because uh, there are a lot of things you don't want in the way. And we're also running two copies of Royal Decree. This helps control so many other things you don't like. Um, and you don't run any other traps yourself, so obviously Decree doesn't hurt you. Now for the extra deck, we're running one copy of Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. We're running two copies of Stardust Dragon. We're running two because uh, he's a very common target when you're syncing up for eight, and he also protects Zombie World. So, good all around choice right there. Scrap Dragon. Red Dragon Arc Fiend. Colossal Fighter. Keep in mind that uh, the majority of Synchro monsters in the game can be brought back from the grave. Thought Ruler Arc Fiend. So, you can book a life for these guys with Zombie World. Dark End Dragon. Uh, we're running him partially for just that reason, in fact, is because uh, you can kill things by shrinking them with this guy, and then when your opponent finally kills it, you can bring it back later by Book of Life and hit something out of their grave, and boom, you got this guy fresh and ready to fly again. And Zombie Master is going to be your dark of choice most times on sinking. This is basically Zombie Master plus uh, Flambelle Magician. We're running one copy of Black Rose Dragon. And we're running one copy of Blackwing Armor Master. Bryanac, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Doom Kaiser Dragon, because this guy's awesome in Zombie World, and he's just a good zombie, period, anyway. 
Guy Knight, the Force of Earth. Uh, this guy's a pretty useful six star because he can run over things that the other six stars and the Iron Chain even can't just run over. Iron Chain can die in a suicide with a lot of those guys, you know, one for oneing. But why do that when you can just run them over? Uh, this guy will kill not only Star Striking, but he also kills uh, Xien, which is important because your Zombie Master can go get Plague Spreader, sink for six, and run that guy over if worse comes to worse. I have Justice Cataster. And Formula Synchron, because Dandy Tokens plus Glow Up Bulb equals Formula Synchron, which you can even keep recurring from your grave via Zombie Master or what, whatever you want. So, that's the deck Plants vs. Zombies. Until next time, rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel for more cool.